Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruby. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve IGCSC activity practice. This is paper 3 and this is May June exam, variant 32. So for this paper, I have solved the spreadsheet task. Okay, if you need the video, you can just go through my channel. Okay, and then in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve website of Okay, task three, file management. Create a new folder called J32. So we're going to create a new folder. J32. Locate all the following files and store them in J32 folder. Banner, contact, field, text, yeah. we're going to call this code. So this is now. now. Display the contents of your J32 folder, showing the folder name, all file names, file extension, file size, page contents, and the frame height and the frame width for the video. Okay, so, for this, we need to content. Need to show the file size. So this is the file dimension. Um, this is the file size, file name, file format. Okay, so we need to take a screenshot of this. Okay, and we need to place this in our evidence document. So this is task question 12. Step 12. Step 12 evidence. Okay, task 4, web page. So we create a web page to raise awareness of draft conservation. Create a new a web page called j32web.htm and save this in your folder. Okay, so we are going to open web expression. This has to be saved as j32web. We already have html open we're just going to save save as j32 and then save okay this web page must be created using a single table and work in browsers. The table must fit 75% of the browser window. Okay, you need to take note of this, 75%, and have a structure as shown in this diagram. Okay, so for us to create the table, we need to know how many rows and columns we have. So we have one, one row, row two, row three, row four, row five. And then we have two columns, column one and Column two. So we need to insert a table. So we have five rows, two columns. Okay, so the width is 75%. So we need to specify the width 75%. Okay, this has to be in percent. Okay. 
so we have five rows now what we need to do is we need to merge we need to merge the cells okay for example these first two columns are merged so we will do that okay right click modify merge cells and this will be a and we also have three cells merged this is have c d e and the last one is f okay the last one is merge just to be sure merge. f Okay. Table borders must appear on the final web page. Each table cell is identified with a letter, which must not appear on the final web. Set the title of the web page to Giraffe Conservation. Okay. So we need to set the title. To set the title, just go to the code view. And then in the title, this. Okay, place in cell A the image banner. In cell A, go to design view. Cell A, remove the text. Then insert picture from file. Okay, we need to always place alternate text image bed b a video tag to display to display this file so that it fits the width of the cell of this cell okay the video must show controls show the controls and then it plays automatically display an automated text base error message okay, so we have one two three four items okay and that's in cell b go to the code view and locate cell b okay so this is cell b remove the text okay so we are going to use the video tag Have the video tag okay we need to imp impute the file so we're going to use the source source tag rc equal in the name of the file the name of the file is j32 feed mp4 j32 Feed dot mp4 you have to ensure that the name is typed okay and the type of file is a video okay video slash the format mp4 so that's the type of file okay then we need to close the tag now we need to also display a an error error message okay we need to display an error message so an error message would be your browser does not support this video okay, so we have Started the file, okay, and then error message displayed. Okay, now we need to have the video should fit the width of the cell, and then should show controls and auto play. So we need to put that in the video tag here. So the width B 
100%. Okay, and then we have the control. So the control will be auto clean. And that's it. In cell C, the image J32 what.jpg. In cell C, Okay, so insert image okay, so the name of the image is what in cell D the image contact the image contact Okay, this is done. Enter in cell E the text web page edited by. Then on a new line, enter your name, center number, and candidate number. Set this text as style H3. So in cell E, okay, and then on a new line, so we need to click enter. Okay, so that will give a break. Okay, our name, center number and candidate number okay so if we go to okay sorry we need to also set it as h3 style so if we go to the code view we would see okay that after the web page edited by we can see the break and then we have our data then in h3 tag okay place in cell f the text from the file J32 text. Okay, so we we'll copy this text and place in cell F. Okay, and this has to be set to paragraph style. Paragraph. So if we go to the code view, you would see the paragraph tag. Attach the style sheet J32 web to your web page. Do not edit this style sheet. We are going to apply the style sheet. Attach style sheet, browse. Okay. Make the image what? A link to open the web page a32 what.htm and is in in a new window called blank so the image okay, this is the image or what okay, just to be sure okay, that's the image so right click type a link so we need to hyperlink it to the web page called what's.htm and we need to set it to blank. So the target frame will be new window. Okay, that shows blank and then okay. Okay. So if you go to the code view, okay, you should see the target equals blank. Okay. Make the image J32 contact a link to an email editor to prepare an email to. Okay, so it has to prepare an email to this. Right click, hyperlink, go to email address. The email address is this and the subject. Okay, the subject is giraffe. Okay, and then OK. So we go to the code view. Okay, you can see it here.
prepare your web page and take a copy of your HTML source and place this in your evidence document. Okay, so that's step 20. Save and then take your HTML code. So this is step 20 evidence. So step 20. Display your web page in a browser. If necessary, resize it so that all the web page can be seen, all the text can be easily read, the address bar is fully visible, and take a screenshot evidence showing your web page in the browser. Paste this in your evidence document. Okay, so let's save first and then the preview it looks like this okay you may want to adjust it so that everything is fully visible okay so let's see if we can be bigger Okay, I believe this is fine and then you take a screenshot okay, make sure that the address bar is showing so that the title can be visible and then we place this in our evidence document okay so that's all for this task thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to like share and subscribe